What's up, my name is Technobi here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to a very quick guide. In this video, I'll show you how to get Visual Studio Code set up to work with Jupyter Notebooks and I'll be using Anaconda. It's super simple to set up and get going. To begin with, we'll need Anaconda installed. Head across to anaconda.com, click download and open up the installer when it's done downloading. Simply click through the installation without needing to worry about changing any settings. Just when it finishes the installation, on the last screen you'll have two checkboxes. You can untick both of those and carry on with your day. Those are just for reading up more info on Anaconda. Then hit start and you should see a new program at the bottom recommended, the Anaconda Prompt Anaconda 3. You can also search for this. I'll click on this to open it up and inside of the new Anaconda Prompt here, all we need to do is type in conda install space followed by IPY kernel as such. Hit enter and wait for the Python kernel to install and set up. You may be asked to hit Y, simply do that, hit enter and you've now successfully set everything up. At this point you can either install or open up Visual Studio Code on your PC, I'll be using VS Code Insiders. I've already got a Jupyter Notebook open but all you need to do from here is open the extensions on the left hand side, search for Python and simply install Python as you would any other extension. When it's done we can close out of the extensions Hit F1 to open the command palette and type in new note for new notebook. I'll click on this to create a brand new notebook. And inside of here, we can change from the Python interpreter to something else if you'd like, such as Markdown, but I'll leave it as Python. I'll enter some sample code here, a nice simple project. All we need to do from here is if you get a pop-up about selecting a Python interpreter, click that, or in the bottom left, you may see select a Python interpreter. Click either one of those if you see them at all. Otherwise, type interpreter and we'll choose Python select interpreter. Then from the dropdown, we can choose our new Anaconda installation here. In this case, Python base Anaconda Python.exe. When we've done so, hit the play button to simply run your code or of course run all at the very top. It's super simple and easy to debug, especially if you're used to working in notebooks on say the cloud, now you're testing on your own PC. If you get a pop-up about the Windows firewall, simply click allow access and everything should work properly. You can create files in Windows as well just by making them with the IPYNB file extension and opening them in Visual Studio Code. It's super simple. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.